What's up, people? This is an H Girl 30 here, and this is my discussion of the night. Now, my discussion for tonight is about spoilers and it played and how it played a possible huge role in the death of K Fabe. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not at all saying that this is the this is the reason why K Fabe is gone. It isn't, but it has played a very, very strong role. Now, going back to the golden era. Around that time, it was all about kayfabe. It was all about playing a character, playing a part, and keeping everybody surprised. And social media wasn't even around during that time, let alone Facebook. Shoot, no, nobody even had laptops unless you had a million dollars or you were a part of a multi-million dollar company. But moving on to now, social media is pretty much in our faces. Everybody has access to a computer as well as internet. Maybe not everybody, but the majority of the nation does. And we end up knowing all of our information, not within a couple of days, not within a couple of months, but within a matter of hours to let alone minutes and seconds. We pretty much know everything in our faces right then and there. Now, I'm not going to name any other online wrestling or any other online wrestling newspaper, and I'm not going to out them like that because that's their job. They're doing their job. I'm not saying they're all bad. It's great to have information that's out there, but when it comes to actually knowing shows ahead of time, it spoils the surprise factor. It really does. It makes things a little bit weaker. The fact that you know everything ahead of time will literally spoil how uh, spoil the anticipation of the show itself. For example, SmackDown is a victim of this because SmackDown films their shows on Tuesday and then they show it on Friday. They occasionally do have live shows, but it's only during special occasions. And sometimes even their live shows get leaked, as well as Raw. They're a victim of this, too. And TNA. TNA was recently a victim when they were in the UK. Everybody pretty much knew what was going to happen ahead of time and all the matches and everything else. And sometimes the WWE makes a big mistake thinking that they can beat everybody to the punch and literally just let, let the cat out of the bag. Wrong! The thing about it is, kayfabe is what peop kept people interested. Kayfabe is what made you love that wrestler for who that wrestler represented. Because they stuck to that role. That's what kayfabe is. It's all about the fictition. The, 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 it was all about the storyline. It was all about the character. And the fact is, it was all about the, the, the spirit of surprise. You would never know exactly what was going to happen, and you never know exactly if the character is going to do a heel turn because you just didn't have access to that. But now that we do, it just spoils the complete feeling of like going into a show not knowing what you're going to see and 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 just being happy and enjoying yourself about it because I'm going to be honest if it wasn't for the fact that that if it wasn't for the fact that a lot of the YWC and IWC found out information early from um from wrestling websites or or wrestling newspapers and stuff like that early then let's face it I mean, it would be less boring, and the IWC and YWC would have less to complain about. But you cannot tell me that if everybody found out CM Punk's epic, and I do mean epic, work that he did for the Summer of Punk, you cannot tell me that if you knew that thing ahead of time, that you still would have been wouldn't have been as floored. Like your emotions wouldn't have been as high as it, as it was during the Summer of Punk. You can't tell me if you knew that whole thing ahead of time that it wouldn't feel just as epic. It would have been some mediocre show, some bland blah that you would complain about the next day. And you wouldn't even bother watching Money in the Bank because you would have nothing to be motivated about. You would have already known exactly what CM Punk was going to say, how he was going to say it, and who he was going to point out. And you can't tell me that that match would have had a lot more meaning if you knew everything ahead of time. So honestly, the fact that we are actually have too much access to social media, the fact that we read the spoilers, the fact that the spoilers itself is, in, in my opinion, it played a major role in the true death, nail in the freaking coffin of kayfabe. But there is a little spark of hope, and I'm actually going to do another video on that soon, which is probably going to come out in a few days. But it is a little ray of hope. That I'm going to talk about one person that really did inspire me to make this video. And it was just, and I just watched him tonight. And I'm going to actually make a video on it. So stay tuned to that. I also want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Do you really do think that having spoilers, having access to so many spoilers, truly made the, the truly helped put the nail in the coffin of kayfabe? Or do you think that 
knowing everything ahead of time kind of enhanced the entire feel of what the show really does represent. Leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a video response. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this and stay tuned to my next discussion video. This is Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out. Later.